What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House DCO Commentary. Uh, today I'm bringing you, um, this is going to be actually, this is going to be my first look into the whole new skill point innates that we have with the weapons uh, with Update 25. Yeah, this is my first Update 25 video. Alright, so um, I've already respected uh, my PowerPoints and everything like that. I'm getting ready for to do some arenas here and everything. Now I'm going to take a look here at the um, skill points. Alright, I got 155 skill points right now. And I'm going to go through here and I'm going to make sure that I get my innates for my uh, movement mode. Um, and then we're going to take a look here at my first weapon here. Okay, we got uh, the brawling here. This is the, my main weapon I've been inspecting into like since forever. Um, and we're going to take a look at the stats here that you get with it. You get uh, more restoration, more power, more vit, and uh, extra might with that. All right, so and then we go down to bow and everything. Um, and uh, we can see here more power, more precision, more restoration, and more health with these. All right, uh, what I'm going to be doing here because I'm specking, going to be specking to tank um, PvP is what I want to do is I want to go down and you guys want to find these innates here for like, you know, especially with like PvP, you want to go around and find all these precision ones first. All right, try and get as many of those precision ones first after you fully spec into whichever weapon that you're primarily going to be using. All right, um, because of these new innates and everything like that, you know, I mean, people are going to, you, you can't really hybrid spec anymore like you used to. Um, so, like, controllers and all that, you guys are going to have to concentrate more on, you know, getting your VIT and everything, your VIT innates for uh, controlling uh, so you get that power out and all that. Um, healers, you're going to have to concentrate on your... Um, restorations and stuff uh dps and tanks will have to uh, take a look at you know the precision boost and everything like that um and the might boost um more than anything else um you see right here this is uh this is dual wield um come down here you see it's got an extra might boost vit power and health uh the um tabs are uh, or the icons for each are pretty much the same so that's all good okay um come down here for hand blasters and we've got uh, precision boost, a resto, resto power, and vit boost right here. Um, come down here and all that. Okay, we see right there we got for martial arts is a uh, vit power, might, and health. Okay, one hander here. Come down. See, we've got precision power. Resto and Dominus. I mean, anybody's already on the game and all you guys are seeing us right now. I'm just going to show you basically uh, what you want to do as far as um, how you're spec and all that. So I'm going to start off here by specking into the um, uh, combos and everything that I definitely want to have for dual wheel. Du dual wheel is, uh, is pretty much the easiest and the cheapest weapon to spec into, in all honesty. All right. Now you can see right here, all right, I've come down. All right, I can I can spec into these innates here, but I can't touch any of these yet. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spec into there. All right, and that gives me access to uh, the next one. So I'm going to spec into these um, DPS ones first, and then I'm going to see which one, how many uh, skill points I've got left over afterwards. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm going to do that with all the weapons. So I'm going to come back up here to brawling. I'm going to spec into these four here for brawling. All right, I'm going to spec into the crit chance right here. That's a DPS one you definitely want to have. And I'm going to spec into uh, these might ones right here too. All right, that's six points in each of those. All right, coming back down here to the bow. Spec into the, this right here. You see, go into the might. All right, and then come down here and get the extra precision. All right, go down to dual pistols. See the extra crit chance. All right, come down here. We got extra precision. All right, 97 skill points left so far. We're doing good. We're doing good. We may actually, uh, may possibly have some extras left over. We'll see. All right, <laughs> I'm hoping at least. Come down here and get this extra precision from the hand blasters. All right, then we're gonna come down here, martial arts. Uh, I'm gonna go over um, in more in depth in another video talking about uh, which um, 
uh, once I take a closer look at everything, which uh, path's better to take for specific roles, um, especially if you're low on um, skill points and all that. Yeah, I mean, you don't have 155 skill points. You know, you guys are relatively new to the game or something like that, um, which is fine. Uh, you know, try and you know give give a little tips and everything about which weapons to spec into in regards to in which. Uh, you know, which ones to go after first in order to make sure that you get every innate possible that you need for um, specking into uh, getting the max stats that you can for your specific role that you're going to be playing. So, as you can see right here, I'm on the shield right now and I'm down to 32 skill points. So, picking up extra innates may be difficult for me. Um, well, I mean, you wonder why I'm specking all this DPS stuff if I say I'm going to be tanking PvP. Um, it's because I, I've gone over it several times before, but, you know, just to say right here, um, as a tank in PvP, you don't get focus fire that much. Um, unless you're, like, um, tanking nodes and all that, but if you're doing, like, team deathmatch maps and all that, your role is mainly is like a secondary DPS. Now, you see right here, folks, all right, I have 155 skill points. I got my 7 and 8s into my uh, um, flight tree, and I have completely specced into all damage um, innates for every weapon, and I have 5 skill points left. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're going to come up here. We're going to take a look at brawling here. We're going to see what we can get from our brawling right here. Um, for arenas and everything, I would recommend that you uh, go for uh, extra power. Extra power is always a good thing to have. The um, more power you got, the uh, at least for uh, if you're tanking and all that. DPS, you know, and other roles, you guys may want to look at other innates. Um, but for tanking, you know, definitely go for more power. Because, um, like I said, you don't get focus fired as much. But there's that. All right, folks. Uh, I hope this helped you all out. Um, you guys see now exactly you know how many skill points you need to get down there. You need 150 skill points to get every single damage in eight. Um, and that's only putting four uh, skill points into every single weapon tree. So, um, anyways, like I said, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you got any questions and everything, like that, please, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, also, real quick here, I want to show you guys um, something. You go here, uh, the talking about the new um, the chat tab and everything. You want to still access the uh, um, chat window and stuff like that. Uh, all you have to do for that is say, like, you're in your UI and all that. You can still see the chat and everything. If you want to access that, you just hit the select button if you're on the PS3. And um, you can uh, access it from there you know, and change uh, chats and everything like that, um, just like normal. All right. Uh, anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you got any questions, I will do my best to try and answer them as quickly as possible after I get this video up for y'all. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until next time, y'all take care. Bye.